Welcome once again to Witty Wednesdays. Here's an interesting topic. What exactly is the frame rate of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic? I looked up this question on Google, imagining that the same answer would just pop up in most places and then I would be on my way. However, I was surprised to see that not that many topics came up. And ones that pointed to the specific question had different answers like 12, 16, 20, 24, and even 30 frames per second, among other numbers. This may possibly be due to the nature that posting answers can get you rewards on sites like Yahoo Answers, so be careful. Anyways, I decided to get My Little Pony episodes from a couple places, and well, I've come to an answer which we'll reach after an overview of video formats. It all started with NTSC in the early 1940s, and then during the 50s, PAL arose and color television began. There's also CCAM, but it's not exactly important to the point. I couldn't find too much info on it, and not much of the world uses it. Now, the main point here is that NTSC, in places such as the US and Japan, is natively 30 frames, well, 29.97 frames per second, and PAL, in places such as Europe and Australia, is natively 25 frames per second. I think the reason why it's so hard to find the information nowadays is, well, the formats are becoming obsolete, and HD was coming about around the spawn of the internet. It's also something that most people don't need to know about or don't even care to know about, since the formats are different in different parts of the globe, and problems would only arise if you were to bring your devices when traveling internationally. HDMI is also becoming a global standard. Nowadays, we have HD with resolutions of 720p, 1080i, and 1080p, with P referring to progressive frames and I referring to interlaced frames. Now I has two fields for every one frame, while P has all the lines for one frame, which is supposed to look smoother. High definition is nearly a global standard, although there are a few formatting differences around the globe. Broadcast can only be up to 1080i due to bandwidth reasons, but downloads of TV shows are often 1080p and 30 frames per second, which is the standard of these downloads. Most people will tell you that 60Hz is now a global standard. However, that is not the case. There are still devices nowadays that use 50Hz or 25 frames per second, and yes, there is such a thing as high definition with a refresh rate of 50Hz. I'll link to a My Little Pony Blu-ray review here, where he shows the back of the box and indeed it says 50Hz. Now the reason I brought all this up is because, well, there are standards for dropping certain frames, notably with 30 frames per second versus 29.97 frames per second. I'll put a link in the description. There are also standards for converting 24 frames per second, the standard for films and movies, to 25 frames per second and 30 frames per second. So here, I have a few My Little Pony clips, and it appears that the show is animated at 24 frames per second. If I slow it down, You'll see that for every 4 frames, 1 frame is identical. This makes 5 frames per cycle, and there are 6 of these cycles per second. So, do the math, 4 different frames multiplied by 6 cycles is 24 frames per second. Now here, you'll notice that Lesson 0 only has 3 unique frames for every 5 for the last 10 frames. Since the 4 unique frames for every 5 held true for this clip previously, we can assume that more frames are duplicated either to lower production costs or perhaps to emphasize the movement of Twilight's head. So next week I'm going to be finishing up this analysis with more footage, some very interesting notes about the frame rate conversions and how it affects the pitch of the audio in places like the UK, and then I'll have a few statements about the new Ultra HD resolution and Blu-ray, and I may put in one or two of my own theories as to why My Little Pony is very limited in terms of Blu-ray releases. Also, it appeared as if some of the footage had a much lower frame rate, especially with speech. So I'm going to have to look into it more and come to a conclusion next week. So I guess that's it for now. I'll see you all later.